Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Well, welcome back to my channel, Inside to Him. So I bet you're wondering what took me so long to get this video uploaded. And I really don't have a very good excuse. So sorry it's two weeks late, but here we are. Here is everything that I made in April. The first thing is this super, super, super cute dress that I am just obsessed with at the moment. I wish I could wear it every single day. Um, it is the Dana Marie Design Co. A Little Something Extra Dress. Um, so I told you all about Dana Marie Design Co. last month. A lot of you commented that you hadn't heard of her patterns before. So I'm glad that you were able to go check them out and learn about a new pattern designer, new to you pattern designer. This was my first time sewing a Dana Marie Design Company pattern. And I got to say, I really loved it. I mean, her instructions are not, you know, very professionally laid out, but they were definitely clear, definitely easy to understand. And my favorite part was when you go to sew the little X in the back, your mind is telling you to lay the pieces down this one way. And in her instructions, she says, don't lay them down this way. <laughs> and I'm like, my mind is saying, lay them down this way, but I'm reading, don't lay them down this way. And so I'm going back and forth, back and forth. And so I was able to stop myself, think for a minute, comprehend what she was really trying to say instead of what I thought it should be and prevented myself from stitching something down and having to rip it out. So I love that she had a don't do this, <laughs> you know? So often the instructions are like, just do this, do this, do this, do this. Never is there like a warning, you're gonna wanna do it this way, but don't do it that way. <laughs> so I really loved that she had that in there. It shows me that she got into our minds um, into the people that would be sewing this for the first time and knew, anticipated that we would be trying to do it this other way and warned us before we could get that far, which saves frustration, saves time. So I thought that that was really, really great. Um, something else I wanted to point out about this pattern that I didn't notice whenever I was first telling you guys about it that I think is really cool is that there is not a sorry, I have so much hair, that there is not a shoulder seam. How cool is that? So the little seam that makes the X, like the one that's like right here, all of this is one piece all the way down the whole bodice front. And all of this is all one piece. So that is super cool because if you are using a fabric that has any kind of design that goes top to bottom, it will wrap around your body. How cool is that, right? Also, if you're like, same thing goes for stripes. So all of your stripes will go up and over and be completely uninterrupted by any kind of seam in here. It'll just be a beautiful, you know, visual thing all coming all the way over your shoulders down your, the whole length of your body, which I think is just really, really neat. And I love that those two things didn't get separated and chopped up into smaller pieces. Um, also, I was able to use this fabric that has this really cool embroidered design on the hem, which I absolutely love and adore. And my only, only fear is that this fabric is not going to hold up <laughs> um, and that I'm not going to be able to wear this dress to my grave like I want to, <laughs> only because the fabric isn't going to hold up. I got it at in the New York City Garment District at this store that's lovingly called Janky Store. And I wanna say it was like five or six dollars a yard, so not very expensive. Not that that doesn't mean it's not good quality. It just makes me pause. I just love this neckline so much. And I even thought about adding a, um, seam line along the waist and then adding a fuller skirt to give more of a fit and flare. I just really think you can take this bodice and do so much with it. Um, so just like last month, Dana Marie Design Co. is offering all of you guys a coupon code again. You can check the description box and get a link to her website. Her website includes more than just patterns. 
She also sells a ton of different notions and tools and things that you guys might like to have in your toolbox. So the coupon code is good for patterns and all of that stuff as well. So check the link in the description box and also uh, make note of the coupon code that's there in case you buy anything, you can save a couple of bucks just for watching my videos. How awesome is that? Um, the next thing I made was Simplicity 8389. Remember these pants? Remember the bubblegum pink linen? Here is how they turned out. Apologize for the wrinkling. I literally pulled these out of the laundry <laughs> to show you today because I've been trying to wear them. I gotta say though, I don't think they're super flattering. I know that you guys will be honest with me and I know that like I'm not at my like ideal weight at the moment, but they just, I don't know. I feel like they make me look larger than I really am. And so then that makes me wonder, is this like wide leg pant just like not gonna work for me? Am I just not gonna like the way I look in wide leg pants? And I've been trying the pants with different tops. I admit I don't love the olive green. Um, it looks a lot better with like lighter colors like white and gray. Um, so, but I've been trying and branching out and trying to find a bunch of other colors that would work well with this, but I think it's really just gonna be those two, light, 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 light colors. Uh, light colors and neutral, light and neutral. Um, so, but I made them. I really do adore the little tie. It doesn't actually, like it's sewn in. It doesn't actually pull anything tighter, but I do love that I was able to find more of like a braided rope and then I tied it off on the end. I think that's a cute little detail. Um, so, but there they are, I made them. So the, those are my two makes, but I also have half of a make, does that count? Because I cut out my grain line willow, I just haven't sewn it. And honestly, this is gonna take like 30 minutes and I know that. Um, so I am going to get it done this month because I don't want this cut of fabric just laying around. Um, so that will get done. I promise. Even though I promised myself May was just going to be works in progress. I mean, I guess technically that is a work in progress. So there you have it. I've added, I think I have like 17 works in progress that I'm working on. <laughs> um, and then the refashion, I just, I put on that, um, it was this one, Oof. the, um, Eileen Fisher, like, I don't know, oversized dolman i guess it's a dress i don't know what it was meant to be and when i put it on the idea that i had with the trim on the bottom it, i don't know i started to like second guess myself a bunch and overthink it and then got scared and didn't want to cut into it because this is really good quality denim and I don't want to screw it up. So now I'm debating on turning it into a top and not a dress. So I'm still very, very much on the fence about this, which is why I basically just bailed on the idea of refashioning this last month. But short and sweet, <laughs> which is even more less of an excuse as to why it took me so long to film this. Um, those are the things that I made in April. Um, this is truly a gem, truly a favorite that I know that I will love and love and love and wear nonstop. Um, but for now, I strongly encourage you check out the A Little Something Extra Dress Top and Tunic pattern because... I really love it and I think it's really cute. I hope you guys think it's cute on me too. Um, but that's gonna do it for day today. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all very soon. Bye.